Hello, and welcome back. If you visited me before, welcome. If this is your first time visiting me. The divided States of America, where we always ask the question, who's shaking the jar? Before I get into this, I must tell you that my baby brother finished his race a week ago. And yesterday, we gave him his final farewell for his journey on the other side. He was 57 years young. Why is it when we lose a loved one, um, a close friend, a family member, a mother, father, sister, brother, any of the preceding, why is it why do we feel so bad, so lost, so confused at times? Why do we cry? We get depressed. We run a myriad or a gambit of emotions. Some of us contain our grief. Others seem to be barely able to hold themselves together. It goes without saying that we all grieve differently, but we do all grieve. Look, I've been a practicing sinner all my life with hope. Some of you are looking at me like, what did he just say? So just hold on, I'll explain. No matter what you believe or have faith in, all religions teach us that this life we have right now, we are just passing through. That a better life awaits us on the other side and we should rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is our reward when someone passes. Now, my religious faith and belief also teaches me that the road splits on the other side. Because of your deeds in life, one road for the unrepentant sinner now another road for the sinner that confesses his sin and repents and asks for forgiveness. I had a preacher once tell the congregation, he said, I can't save your soul. I'm trying to do all I can to save my own soul. And I hope I do just enough to get in. See, the thing is, I commit a sin somehow, some way, every day. And I can tell you right now that $700 million lottery helped me commit a sin today. I'll let you figure out which one. But I also accept the fact that I'm not perfect. I also believe that if I ask for forgiveness and try to be a better person tomorrow than I was today, there's hope. Maybe that's why we cry. Hope. I hope that I was good enough. I hope that I shared enough. I hope I forgave enough. I hope that I had faith strong enough. I hope that I loved enough. I hope they were good enough. My brother's only been gone for a short time and I miss him. 
and I'll always miss him no matter how much time passes. My wife keeps asking me, how do I feel, how am I doing? And I tell her, bear in the woods. There's an old saying, if you see me and a bear in the woods fighting, help the bear, because I'm going to be all right. The truth is, without her love and support, the bear would be winning right now. And I thank God for her. I thank God for all my siblings, my friends, extended family. Most of all, I thank God for free will and letting me, us, figure this out on the road back to him. So, who is shaking the yard? Who stands to benefit from your strife, your grief, your heartbreak? And this is a easy one. Your friends, family, anyone that's close to you and there for you in your time of need and support. All of these people are shaking the jar. They worm their way into your heart and show you how much they love you and take care of you and care for you. And then one day, they're gone or you're gone. Anything that is easy ain't worth having. Find the happiness in the passing of a friend or loved one. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be worth it. Without a doubt. Most importantly, if you have something to say to a friend or a loved one, tell them now. Don't wait. Tomorrow never gets here. Today is always here. It will always be here. Tomorrow is what we hope. Today is what we have. Until next time, to all my brothers and sisters, I love you. To all my family, my extended family, I love you. And I'll see you on the road of life. Until next time.